On this week's program, we'll look at the archaeological record of the life and times of Jesus of Nazareth. CBN Documentaries produced a stunning film on the archaeology behind the life of Jesus. Writer and director Aaron Zimmerman talked about the film, written in stone, Jesus of Nazareth, with CBN CEO Gordon Robertson, who also hosted the documentary. Barna survey, 22% of the respondents thought Jesus was a fictional character. Another 17% said they weren't sure. Of those who said Jesus was a real person, many thought he was a wise teacher, but not a divine one. The key question is, what does the archaeological record say? CBN's latest documentary, Written in Stone, reveals the answer. So far from 150 years of archaeology, whatever we find either amends the Bible or is not related to the Bible, but it doesn't reject the Bible. None of it rejects any of the biblical stories. We have a biblical tradition and we have the archaeology. And the question is what the relationship between the two. If you want to walk on the particular street where Jesus and the apostles walked on, this is the place that you're going to go. The story of the Church of the Nativity is really one that's quite interesting. Somewhere within that large compound was the family home, even though we may not know exactly where X marks this spot. It makes sense for this place to be the place of the crucifixion. Does it fit the right period? Does it show evidence of that era? We have to say this is a very strong case. Today there are attempts to say that the real tomb of Jesus was elsewhere. When you read the Gospels, everything complies very well to the Church of the Holy Sepulchre. The period is right, and the location is right. There is no reason to look for another place. When he came to Capernaum, he was home. He was in the house. Whose house? What house? If we have to give a grade, we're going to give this a B plus, A minus. People know where Peter lived. It was an ideal place for Jesus and his walks between Nazareth and the lake to stop here. So was Jesus in the synagogue? I would say you'd need to be a very, very industrious person to prove he wasn't. When Jesus comes to Jerusalem as a believing Jew, he will spend a lot of time on the Temple Mount. Where did Jesus walk? There's no question he walked on these steps because this is the main entrance to the temple. When Jesus turned upside down the tables of the money changers, they fell upon some floor. We have that floor. We have those floors upon which Jesus could have walked. You don't want to believe what's written in the Bible? Fine. See what archaeology is teaching you. 